previously on Day in the Life. Good morning. So family, I am not the mother that be chefing it up. All things in the morning are frozen. They will be waffles or pancakes. And that's about it. Waffles! 8.32, we got out of the house on time. I've currently been up for three hours. This is the life of mommy, pastor, wife. What type of deodorant do you use? My left arm acts like it is my dad's and my right arm has always been my mom's right arm. It cooperates. My left arm is a little renegade, does not care what you put on. It literally decides that it wants to smell like what it wants to. And I'm sick of it. If I burn myself, guys, it's my fault. This is probably one of the ghetto things I probably have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Something just happened. Something just happened. You're baking. I'm baking. How long do I bake? That was a struggle for me of why I tried to carbon copy Travis for a long time. Why it was such a, like, it's, it, it is, you know how you talked about like the gift with adding no sorrow? Mm -hmm. It was sorrowful because it wasn't a gift yet, it was a need. Yeah. So I was like, I don't really need this every day. And she said, Ma, I really think you should push through. And it was what I needed. And I really appreciated that push. And so I just wanted to challenge you all to make sure that you have people like that in your life. See you later for workout, Janiyah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I see you there. See you there. <laughs> if I can do it, you can too. <laughs> oh yeah, no keys. My keys are on my desk mat in the cup holder, in the gold cup holder. <laughs> Guys, can y'all pull up Judas' um things on his arm? People are really, really particular about you, making sure your kids be buckled up right. <laughs> And I ain't got time for the video stuff, okay? <laughs> now, one of the questions that was on the line that you that we did answer, I figured we can wait to this. Okay. They asked, how do you manage kids while your husband is traveling? <laughs> <laughs> you do the best you can, baby. <laughs> um Honestly, how do I manage them? Hmm, the same way I do when he's there. Um, he, I generally just get like the added, you know, like, hey, baby, I'll bathe them for you. But kind of our, our routine is pretty much the same. Um, there are moments he'll just be like, hey, baby, I'll drive them. You can take this car. You can take mine and get a little breather. But for the most part, either he will help me with the bath or he may um, get them dressed for me in the morning uh, like twice a week or he might drive them like once a week. Um, but it's pretty much the same. Um, you really have to lean in on the Lord. <laughs> but I think I have to do that anyway. So it's not very different in what I have to do while he's away. Um, I just don't really get any little breaks that I might get sometimes when he'll jump in to give me a like break to catch a nap or something like that. And he's been really, really good about um, uh, like taking them like outside or different things like that, like for our family days and stuff like that too. So I don't think it's a lot different. I don't know if I'm answering the question really well. You did preach on Sunday. How does it feel to, what is your recovery process of <laughs> preaching? Um, it takes me a while to, so I generally can't eat before I preach. And I generally take a long time to be able to eat after I preach because it takes a while for my body to like readjust to like settling down. So like it takes me a long time to fall asleep. Generally you think you'd be out, but I'm not usually like that after I preach. Usually I'm just like really wound up still, like from the energy it takes um, to deliver. So my Mondays are critical because I usually be out, out on Monday. So I slept all Monday um, because I also knew that we had to go to Georgia Southern on Tuesday for Travis to speak. So. It's just like we, but even when I don't preach, Mondays are down for us, and that's like vitally crucial for recovery from pouring and showing up for people and different things like that on Sundays. Monday. 
Jesus. Everybody needs a Monday. Everybody needs a Monday. My God. It's the difference. I know. I think it's kind of a common um, misconception that the more you get or the higher you go. No, 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 no. Like the more you're not present. Oh, yeah. I don't believe it. Yeah, like, you are very, yeah, very present. And, um, you know, some people may not prioritize with their children, but it's a huge call from God of mine. So uh, I take it really seriously. I take really seriously knowing what's going on with my kids, where they are, what they watch, um, all of it. I mean, I feel like if I don't steward that well, then I can steward nothing well because it's my first ministry. And so I think how I show up for them is the benchmark for how I show up for everybody else. I learn, you know, loving them well, it kind of ties into how I love everybody else um, in terms of my spiritual children. So yeah, it's huge to me. And I never, ever, I don't care how, whatever God, how much God wants to use me, I would never want to lose touch with them. I would lose a part of myself because it's it's a part of my DNA, how I was created. Yeah, ain't nothing worth losing time with them for me. Nothing. Not sacrificing family for me, nothing. Judah, did you have a good day, baby? What'd you do? Were you a good boy? You were? Are you excited about Kumon? What's happening? Hey, what happened? Hey, dude, chill, bro. We're going to see Miss uh, Miss Heather. She's really excited to meet you. She's going to teach you how to swim and jump in cannonball in the pool. Cannonball! But we're not doing a cannonball until we know how to swim, okay? Oh, man. Judah, wipe your face, buddy. I don't want to go in the water, Mommy. Judah, you're just playing. Mommy, I don't want to go in the water. It would be storming. Oh, yeah, they are good boys. for your kids to learn to swim. You can do all kinds of things. Say People don't know. I can't wait for, for Travis, for all the men to be able to see what women be out here doing to make it happen. They just get clap. Kids know how to swim. They don't know. They don't know what we go through. Eh? <laughs> it just happened. Poof. Yeah, that's, it. that's all they know. I have no idea what we are. Let's just be clear. Isn't this nice? So y'all have a new playroom now. Y'all gonna keep it up and keep it clean? Whoa! This is so cool! Isn't that nice? Yes, Mommy! Look at all these cool people! You should say thank you, Mommy and Daddy. Thank you, Mommy and Daddy! Mm -hmm. And our spinning table, all the whole toys. This is awesome! Oh my gosh, I didn't see those toys there. This is awesome! It's all the spin days. Can y'all tell Uncle Cassius and Auntie Zoo Tamika thank you for putting this all together? Thank you! Judah, tell Cassius and Tamika, thank you. Thank you. Come on, Judah, up here. There's a little after five. It is. 
that little surprise of the playroom being complete was a definite pick up. Um, and the boys being able to get comfortable right away. They got their little shoes off and um, it doesn't look as junky. It just looks like peace. Um, so it really is exciting. Um, it's been something we've been working on for a while. Mark by McRae is um, on the design and construction. And so, yeah, I'm super excited to see just our gifts of our four citizens showing up and blessing lives because it has been a blessing in our life for real. Um, so, yeah, we will take a moment to eat. And after we eat, they'll have to go to their after school program. And then after that, I'll get them home for baths. Baths at nighttime, I'll get to work out myself and find a journey. Hey, Judah, come see uh, Daddy, buddy. You gotta see how, how hard Jay's chilling. I So we're doing a day in the life. Asia's been following me since 5.30 this morning. So she's gonna be with me all throughout the day. So she's here to catch all of this. Really? Good job, Oh, it's been a day. In one minute. No. It was super dope. She loves Judah. She literally did not put Judah down the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's nice. Like, she likes sugar. Oh, y'all got pasta. It's not. It's not Mommy. spaghetti, but y'all do have pasta. You want to see me? Hey, husband. I am a paper plate, plastic fork girl. Pastor Travis, on the other hand, does not eat off paper plates. He will, but very rarely. He likes real plates and real forks. So me and the boys do this, and we wash this plate for him because he's special. So, huh? No, we're gonna eat the food that we got prepared for us, buddy. Yeah, we're not gonna do McDonald's today. We might go by McDonald's and get a treat, like a cookie or something, if you do really good at Kuma, okay? Hey, boys, come on, get your aprons on. Let's get to the table, please. Wash your hands. Reserve the clothes at all times of day. Hmm? I said reserve the clothes at all times of oh, day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they got to go to Kuma. They got to actually go out of here looking like they got something. Mm, that looks so good. Yeah, it does look good. So on Thursdays, usually, um, day is not feeling well, but Thursdays used to be like the day men Travis generally did our date nights and it would be a day I usually get a break. So I usually take the boys to Kuma on Mondays and uh, Randall or Dave would generally take them on Thursdays to give me a little break. Um, today's special because it's Drew's first day, so I'm taking them. Um, yeah, I get a little spotty help here and there to give me a moment. It's just like, I'm really cool. What are you saying? You Yeah, it's his first time going. Oh. Y'all excited about you that joining y'all? Yes. What's up? Let's go. That's your plan. You mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat that. Okay. <laughs> you a mess. much music is kind of a part of your family your kids got your same singing spirit oh yeah they they got it all on this with singing <laughs> not necessarily talent but they love each other for mommy um um i love it it's like literally like the heartbeat of our house like you won't find my kids without a song <laughs> ever so i really like it Play ABC by Coco Melon. ABC song with the Loons by Coco Melon. That's the one. Amazon Music. Is that it?
Hey, Papa, if you're done, go play, throw your plate in the trash. Mommy? Yes. Let's go ahead and start the, the process. Are you still eating? I'm not eating right now. Yes. No, 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 no. Hold it. Breathe. In. Out. In. Out. Yes. Good job. Hey. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Judah, Jace, Josh, every toy needs to go back into places where you got it from. Now, he doesn't even have much out. Y'all all got this out. We're not throwing anything. We didn't all get this out. We were watching TV. Baby, pick up the toys. Guys, not time to play, put up the toys or we're not gonna be able to come back and play it. All right guys, are we ready to give our best? Yeah, you sure? I didn't hear y'all. Yeah. Mama, you got this lean, breathe, flow. God's with you. You don't have any reason to perform. You have enough. The best version of you, you ever give is the version that is real. I love you. I'm proud of you. I'm excited. Before you do a thing, we're not waiting on outcome to determine your success. You are success before you do anything because you obey. I love you. So sweet. We can give mommy a So. I have one of my spiritual babies. Well, y'all know her, Janaya. Um, she's getting ready to do Engage Night. Um, this is a season where I'm really pushing her to use her voice more. And so she'll be teaching our online platform for our church. Um, basically, a little small Devo. And she's getting ready to do it. And I just wanted to encourage her to be herself, to lean into God, not trying to do it on her own. More than anything, not to perform because the greatest version she gives anybody is her being her true self. And she has a will. She has a prophetic voice with much to say. And so just wanted to remind her that. Her, that before she does a thing, we're not waiting on an outcome to determine success. Success is obedience, according to Joshua 1 and I think it's 1 and 9. Joshua 1 and 9. Yeah, so I just reminded her of her truth so that she walks in with that truth affirming everything so that she's not looking for affirmation or something outward. It sets you up totally different with a new level of confidence. Oh, I did not see it. Yeah, to turn off Wi Fi. Get that big old floor before she jumps on. Yeah. Hey y'all. Oh, she can't. We can't hear you, Mom. Hey y'all. Hey. Can y'all hear me? Is that our way to cook? Yes. And the, and the cart is loud. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Love you. Love y'all. You're freezing a lot. Love you too. You're freezing a lot. Put your full. Right, so that's what we talked about last week. Pastor on the go. It's a pastor on the go. One second. Hey ladies, Davina, I'm gonna jump in. It's going to be amazing. We're gonna be doing a well, a well check. So it'll be a chance for us to really kind of check out where we are and we will sweat a little bit, but it's gonna be fun sweating. So don't be intimidated. You don't have to be at any certain level. Just bring your full self just as you are. And the Lord is gonna have a good time with us as we as ladies kind of kick back and have a good time together. It's gonna be fun. So it be in expectation for fun. And we'll get a little word, be able to be refreshed and leave out better than we came. So I can't wait to see y'all. Please bring your friends with you all. It's going to be a real big move. So can't wait to see y'all. Hey, of course I do. Ladies, gentlemen, you are in for a treat. I'm so yeah. excited about Judas and Hey. <laughs> So excited about Janaya being able to share um, not just things that sound good, but really things that got okay, Judah. I'm talking. This is why I didn't want to come off of you guys. <laughs> be quiet, real quick. I am so excited for her to be able to share real things and practical tips that the Lord is actually doing in her life. I believe that's the greatest message you've ever given. So, y'all really lean in, have full expectation. Janiah calls on the ones and twos. Y'all give her shot, get shot her down, give her a lot of love. Let her know that y'all are welcoming her into this space to be just truly who she's been created to be. It's a gift. I'm excited. Let's go. I love you, PJ. I love you, Judah. I love you.
<laughs> you gotta see. <laughs> oh. You'll have 30 minutes in there and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully he listens well. He's a good boy, he just talks a lot. <laughs> it's Kuman mommy time, is this when you? Generally, so when it was just the bigger boys, Judah and I would bring them and drop them off and we would go back to the house for an hour. But now because they start 30 minutes before Judah and I take him in at the 30 minute mark after they've been in there, I have to stay the whole time because as soon as he's done, they'll all be done at the same time. So. I'll just generally sit here. Either I would be catching up on a text message or like right now I'm about to text Janaya and let her know how she did on um, engage night. Just really kind of pouring back into things I didn't get to during the day and loving some people. So yeah, a little bit of mommy time. More still other people things. <laughs> you, but I want you to have this for record. Your comfortability and your ability to articulate the word is so natural because you didn't give them too much. You gave them, oh, I hate this right here. Cause I don't text, I generally do auto message and low battery coming up in the middle of your message is the devil. We're gonna see what we already have in the ad. My low battery came up, so we shall continue now, but I just want to let you know Proud is probably an understatement. You really, really did a great job and I'm so grateful for you continuing to push to your, use your voice. Your voice is needed in the earth and it was so, so impactful and effective. What I love the most is I am sure if you ask anybody what you talked about, they would be able to easily tell you the three ways you acknowledge God and that's the win. It is sticky enough that people keep it. So I love you. Asia, what was Janiah's three points? Yes. What did she talk about and what were her three points? Go. You can't put me in the spot. I like sure that. can. Okay. The last one was definitely repeat. It was. Um, what are we repeating? We are repeating the first two points. Which are? Which are, I don't have time to think. Yep, no, not at all. <laughs> it was really sticky, eh? Um, I don't remember. How do you acknowledge the Lord? You ask him. You ask him. Really, you really, 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 ask really, really, really ask him. And then after you ask you listen he, obey obey he ask you obey and repeat it was the middle one that i knew Asia, I was she's really not a good i'm not i actually really she's not a good worst. kid it was really good tonight it was really, it good. Was really and good sticky so we don't block her out <laughs> <laughs> oh boy that was don't be with you that was like don't be like i'm that good lord I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss the day. <laughs> I saw you in the mattress. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what dress? I don't know nothing about that part. Oh, that's good. I'm singing too. Mm. No, 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 no,
good job, good boy. Daddy, and we did a good job too. Good job, Jake. Good job, Jim. Proud of y'all. I'll be back in the morning. Dad, what are you doing right now? Is it morning thing? No. Dad, what time is it there? It's an hour earlier than it is for you. It's, it's morning time? Huh? Is it morning time? No, no, it's not. eight for you, so it's almost seven for me. What? What's up? 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 McDonald's, the boys get slushies and cookies because Miss. they did good. It's raining? It's been raining. Miss. Miss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get your fingers out the nose.